This is the video editing suite at Master Communication in Sepulveda, California. You're looking at over a quarter of a million dollars worth of some of the more sophisticated, advanced video gear available today. For instance, these Sony Betacam editors are worth more than $70,000. And this Grass Valley switcher costs nearly $20,000. And this is Commodore's Amiga 500 home computer, which costs considerably less. In fact, it's priced for the average home budget. Yet this piece of equipment is just as important a part of this studio as gear that runs into the five-figure range. It's bringing pro-style video power home, creating exquisite computer graphics with up to 4,096 colors on screen at once, and generating brilliant titles that give videos sparkle and life, and producing dazzling animation and special effects all of which you can superimpose over your home videos with an easy-to-use GenLock device. And the Amiga is the only home computer that can juggle several programs simultaneously through a process called multitasking. Now here's the good news. You don't need a studio full of exotic and expensive video gear to take advantage of the Amiga 500. All you need is your home VCR and camcorder, the right software, and a few affordable add-ons, and you've got a formidable home video production center right on your desktop. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you the kind of pro-style production power you can bring home to your videos. Affordable power. And only Amiga makes it possible. It's the quality of Amiga graphics that really sets it apart from other personal computers. The images don't look cold and computery. They seem alive and full of depth and dimension, impact, and color. One of the most powerful yet easy to use software programs for creating graphics on the Amiga 500 is Deluxe Paint 2 from Electronic Arts. Amiga artist Richard Payne took me through an example. I'm creating a graphic for a video I'm doing on windsurfing using Deluxe Paint 2. It's a simple program. I'll show you how I did it. Everything you learned in geometry class still applies with the Deluxe Paint program. There are tools for drawing circles, squares, ellipses, lines, or virtually any geometric shape you can think of. One of the most useful features is the ability to pick up objects like brushes, shrink them down, and actually paint on the screen with them. And if you want to transfer your graphics to videotape, all you need is Commodore's RF modulator. Now here's the black and white outline of the windsurfer graphic. Notice how I'm attaching the top of the sail with the curve tool. Later, I flooded the outlined areas with color using the fill tool. For detailed work, you can zoom in real close using the magnifier and catch the little mistakes you normally miss. Incidentally, you don't have to be an accomplished artist to create personalized graphics on an Amiga 500. You can buy discs full of pre-drawn pictures that you can customize to fit the occasion. They're called clip art graphics, and even beginners can electronically cut and paste together these pictures into their personalized creations. Now these images, on the other hand, were hand-drawn by an Amiga owner who normally has trouble drawing stick figures. The secret was a Summa Graphics drawing tablet that lets you trace over art with a stylus that you hold in your hand very naturally, like a pencil. You can also capture live images, photographs, and pictures with a photo digitizing system like Nutex Digiview. Through a video scanning process, it can make detailed replicas of your originals in 4,096 colors or 16 shades of gray. Probably the most important kind of graphics for your home videos will be title graphics. And these title graphics, in fact, all the titles you see in this video, were created using the Commodore Amiga. This inexpensive personal computer now stacks up against professional titling systems costing thousands more. There are powerful titling programs like the Zuma Group's TV Text, JDK's Pro Video Plus, and Aegis's Video Titler that will give your home videos sizzle and life. And there are dozens of fonts that give you a tremendous range of expression and style, adding color, flash, and fun. Now I'm going to add a title over my windsurfer graphic using Aegis Video Titler. First, I typed in the title, then later I stretched it to the right size. I added an embossed effect, gave it a little angle, and then positioned it over the picture exactly how I wanted it. It's a quick process, just a matter of minutes.
Another place where the Amiga 500 really shines is in the area of special effects. And in order for you to get the most out of your home video systems, you're probably going to want to start with a Genlock device, which allows you to superimpose graphics, kind of like this. Notice the white background color in the windsurfer picture? Well, it turns transparent when you combine it with a video signal in a Genlock. Here's a titling effect that's almost like rubbing color off the screen. It was done by writing with a brush using the invisible color. Now here's the opposite effect. You can draw on the screen with an electronic crayon. This can be a great teaching tool. There's something about Genlocked Amiga graphics that seem to go naturally with science fiction motifs. You can pilot your own spaceship and direct an Earth invasion right from your desktop. With an Amiga, a Genlock, and a program like Pro Video Plus, you can do some really dynamite transitional effects. One of my favorite transition effects is an effect called Peel, a free program I downloaded from uh, the modem. Uh, what it does is it'll take a graphic and peel it off the screen as if it was uh, translucent paper. With programs like Video Effects 3D, you can create animated titles and graphics, simulating digital effects that you get on machines costing tens of thousands more. Other interesting effects can be achieved with video digitizers, like Sunrise Industries' Perfect Vision. It grabs video frames about every half second. You can colorize them and create marvelous strobe effects. Here's some terrific footage created with A-squared's Amiga Live Video Digitizer, InVision software from Milan Design, and a Genlock. When it comes to animated special effects, nothing comes close to the Commodore Amiga in its price class. But be warned, complex 3D animation requires lots of memory, often more than a megabyte. For advanced work like this, ask your dealer about the expandable Amiga 2000. Animation doesn't have to be complex. You can do a simpler form of animation called color cycling, which you can do with any Amiga. You set certain colors to loop in a cycle, kind of like flashing neon signs. This way, you get the illusion of motion. You can also get pretty fancy with color cycle animation. Here's some work done by two masters of the technique, Ken Costello and Ken Bookstein. Amiga 500 owners can also use animation packages like Aegis's Animator, Deluxe Video from Electronic Arts, and Broderbund's Fantavision to bring their ideas alive. These powerful yet simple programs give you professional looking results on a shoestring budget. And just listen to these sound effects. Fantavision and Deluxe Video let you marry sound with motion, with eerie realism. Now here's a simple little cartoon by the folks who created Aegis Animator. We gave it some extra life by adding sound effects and music. See what you think. What you've just seen is only a sampling of what this incredible computer can do. If you'd like to learn more about how you can bring home the power of the Amiga 500, talk to your authorized dealer. In the meantime, keep watching for a video catalog that tells you about the software and peripherals that you'll need to do everything you've seen here, and more. Only Amiga makes it possible. Peel is a public domain program written by Andy Lockbaum.